Welcome to the LM200 welder quick start video. We'll start with the rear panel. The primary power cable can be connected to either single phase or three phase sources. For single phase input, disregard the red wire and connect the black and white wires to the hot terminal. Connect the remaining green wire to the neutral terminal. For three phase input, connect the black white and red wires to the hot terminal. Connect the remaining green wire to the neutral terminal. Using a small screwdriver or similar tool, set the input current by sliding the switch located on the rear panel to the appropriate setting. Also located on the rear panel is the remote device selector switch, which must be set to the appropriate corresponding connector. The connectors 14 or 19 pin, depending on the remote device used, are located on the front panel. Finally, the main power switch is located on the rear panel. This switch also doubles as a circuit breaker for the unit. Begin by setting the required weld process. Press the process select button located in the lower right portion of the control panel. Observe the LED illuminating the icon representing each process. The top icon represents stick welding. The next icon is for lift stick. The third is for MIG welding of mild steel. And the last is for MIG welding stainless steel. When using remote devices such as wire feeders or foot and hand remote controls via the 14 and 19 pin connectors, it is important to set the contactor and remote current functions accordingly. The functions are controlled by the two buttons located in the upper right of the control panel. The upper button toggles between the contactor panel control or remote operation. The lower button toggles between the panel current control and remote current control. In each case, the lower square icon and corresponding LED indicate the panel controls are active when lit. The upper circular icons and LEDs indicate the remote devices are active when lit. For operating the VS212 wire feeder, set both the contactor and remote amperage functions to the panel position. Various parameters may be chosen via the parameters selection button in conjunction with the process selection button. Repeatedly pressing the parameters button will index through the various settings indicated by the illuminated LED. When the process button is set to stick or lift TIG mode, the hot start, weld current, and arc control parameters can be set. Setting the process to MIG mode allows the weld voltage and inductance controls to be accessed. The control knob is multifunctioning for adjusting both voltage and amperage parameters. The type of setting and its value appear to the left of the control knob in the LED and digital display. The various parameters can be indexed and various values set by repeatedly pressing on the control knob. This concludes the quick start instructions for the setup and operation of the LM200 welder. 